That's how you stand. That's how you stand out. Consistency over time, because a lot of them are fly by night. They're going to be in the business and out of the business, but you're going to be the one that they consistently see for the next five, ten, twenty years. Yeah. That's how you stand out. What's up, buddy? How are you? I'm great. Just doing some door knocking. It's real windy out here. <laughs> I got you. I got you. So what can I help yeah, you man. with, man? Well, uh, thanks for, uh, you know, turning my call. I really appreciate that. I know you're a busy guy. <clears throat> Uh, yeah, I just, you know, I'm really intrigued by, uh, you know, how you run your business and stuff. All signed up on uh, Zero to Diamond and watched a lot of those videos yesterday. Yeah. So uh, I re really, really like what you do, and I just really like your approach a lot. You know, <clears throat> it's definitely all about the relationship. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, I'm just, so uh, let me tell you a little bit about what I do. Uh, my current setup right now, uh, we, uh, we do have some buyers. We pay for, like, uh, buyer and seller leads yeah. online. Uh, through uh, Commissions Inc. Yeah. So we get we get a steady flow of those, uh, probably like one or two a day, and uh, that's been okay. And then uh, we also door knock too. So you know, like pretty much half of the day is making calls, and then the other half is door knocking. So, yeah. Yeah, I knock about hundred or so doors a day, pretty much, mm -hmm. and make anywhere from like thirty to fifty calls. So. It's been good so far. Uh, I'm just, you know, I'm not entirely sold on, you know, online leads and stuff like that. So, um, you know, your program is really uh, intriguing to me. Yeah. Uh, yeah, so I just kind of, I guess I just want to get your opinion, you know. Uh, you know, you, people can door knock and stuff like I do um, and get, like, you know, a few contacts every day. But how much greater, you know, are the contacts when you... Uh, you know, do it your way. I mean, that like they're they're all good. I mean, I don't know. I'm trying to figure out what you're asking exactly because you know you door knock and they might not be home, right? Right. And or you might talk to somebody who's not the owner of the house, right? Like a teenager or something, right? Yeah. Get that okay. Way. Okay. So. Same thing with phone calls. You call, sometimes they're not home, or it's a wrong number, or it's not the person you want to talk to, right? Right. So it's the same thing. Yeah. Right? The only difference is, is you can sit in your office and call hundreds of them from your office, whereas instead of having to drive around and knock on doors. Right. So... You know, you have to be the judge of what's more efficient. But here's the thing, man. Zero to Diamond is not about circle prospecting, right? Mm -hmm. Z Zero to Diamond is a mindset, man, that everything is a win-win. Relationships over transactions. Do you, yeah. you know, have, have dual purpose for everything you do. There's no losses in real estate. Everything you lose is time back that you get that you don't have to spend on that deal anymore. Um, everything, yeah. everything is a positive situation, and if you move, if you have that mindset, then you're gonna you're gonna be most effective and most efficient with everything you do. And if you stay busy, right, and take advantage of every little second of the day to get better and better and better, that's what Zero to Diamonds about, right? right? It's it's not a cookie cutter system that you get Red X, you call the people, you da 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 da. Yes, that's what I think is most efficient. But there's much more to it, man. There's a whole there's a whole other mindset deal to it. You know what I'm saying? Totally. So yeah. you, you have you have to be the judge, man, of what works best for you. I can't tell you what's gonna work best for you. You know, you have to you have to try. See, here's the thing, man, everything works. For sale by owners work, internet leads work, expires work, door knocking works, everything works. Right? It all works because there's people who are very successful at online leads, very successful at for sale by owners, very successful expires. Right? You have to figure out what works for you because it all works. Right. Totally. Yeah. And then, you know, we do have a lot. We're in Southern California. This market's insane out here. There's like no inventory. So, um, my, uh, I actually live in my farm. 
And uh, I know I see like all the stuff that gets sent to us, you know, like all the mailers and different things, you know. You know, there's at least five or six different realtors, you know, mailing things once a month. So yeah. I'm just trying to figure out, you know, how I would stand out differently, you know, if I was to do the mailing, just like, you know, you guys do. You stand out, man, because you called them and you didn't ask them to buy or sell. Yeah. You stand out because you're the one that sent on the postcards longer than anyone else, and they saw that you're here to stay. Right? Sure. You stand out because you got their email and you sent them an email every single week on the same day forever. Right? Okay. You stand out because you run Facebook ads to them every day. They see you running a sponsored ad that goes to them. Right? They okay. see you everywhere for five years, ten years. That's how you stand that's how you stand out. Consistency over time. Because a lot of them are fly by night. They're going to be in the business and out of the business. But you're going to be the one that they consistently see for the next 5, 10, 20 years. Yeah. That's how you stand out. Definitely. For sure. Yeah, you know, we've had a lot of realtors, you know, over time that have kind of stayed here. And, you know, like decades and stuff. And they're, you know, they're always around. But I feel like I could just do better than that, you know? And, um, just trying to figure out the best way. So I think, uh, you know, your, your calls and your emails and your uh, your ad campaigns and stuff, it's all top-notch stuff just to keep in front of them and, you know, just be uh, be approachable, really. Yeah. Like you, like if you, if you always have them feeling like they can always approach you for any reason, you're never going to try to... Um, pressure them into doing something and that that makes them feel comfortable with you then they're always going to feel okay about coming to like they might want to know what their property's worth but they don't want to sell it right now you know if they feel like they can come to you and say hey what's my property worth without you trying to say okay you know when we're going to list it or you know i think we should list it now and trying to like put them in an awkward weird situation then yeah then, you know, then they're going to be more apt to call you. Yeah. Yeah, I, I, um, I definitely feel that, too. That's, you know, that's kind of how my, my personality pers personally is, too. You know, I'm not really uh, a pushy guy, you know, salesman, you know, one of those guys that, you know, really pushes for the deal and stuff. You know, I'm just easy going and, you know, I just try to be real nice and respectful and approachable. So, yeah. I think, uh, you know, that sets me apart too, so. Yeah, there you go, man. You got the personality. So you just got to keep, you just got to keep like working hard and adapting to the environment. Figure it, try new things, figure out what works, figure out what you like, get a system in place, right? To stay in touch with people frequently forever. You know, I use the email, the weekly email. Figure out what you want to use. You know, like, it's a mindset, dude. It's not just do what Ricky does. You can do what I do and succeed if you want to do it exactly the way I do it. Or you can take the the, the, the foundation of the ideas, you know, and do, do different things. You know, instead of weekly email, you could do something with a CRM. Or, you know, instead of phone calls, you can door knock or, you know, whatever. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah, it's 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 more of a mindset thing than a than a than a technical thing. Although all the technical details of everything I do is right there for you, you know, it's whatever you want to yeah. do. It's whatever you want to do with it. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, I just kind of wanted to you know weigh my, my pros and cons a little bit, I guess, between the two. So there's nothing yeah. really there's nothing really I can say. You have to figure that out on your own. You need to take a day where you do nothing but phone calls and then a day where you do nothing but door knocking, you know, and do that for a couple months and see where, which one you think works better for you. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, totally. Yeah, I mean, that's the answer. Yeah, yeah, that makes sense. Definitely. And, uh, you know, I guess one last question. Um, when you're making your calls, or I don't know if you make calls anymore, <laughs> but... Uh, when you were making your calls, how how much time would you allot to making calls? Depends on how busy I am. If I don't have anything going on, I'll call all day. 
If I have to show if I have to show property in the morning, I'll call all evening. If I'm showing property in the evening, I'll call all morning. If I'm showing property all day, I won't make any calls. So if there's ever any downtime, I'm making calls. So all all the time that you're door knocking, you could be making calls. So you know, when when are you door knocking? You could use that time to make calls. Right. Or I can even, you know, not do buyer lead or, uh, you know, paid leads and stuff and just make calls instead and door knock. You, that's something that you have to try and experiment with and see what, see what works. You know what I'm saying? Totally. I don't buy leads. Yeah. There's an unlimited amount of property owners for me to deal with that will not only buy, not only sell, but also buy. They're the best source of buyers. So yep. why would I pay for leads when I have an unlimited source of property owners who buy and sell? Mm -hmm. Right, yeah, and then you know, only a fraction of those leads just you know, end up actually doing something. So it's, it's really interesting. So I, uh, well, man, listen, yeah. the, but the ones that don't do anything, that's where all the money's at. Yeah. You, all the follow up and stuff. you create that relationship for the future. Yep. That's where all the money is. That's how you get to a million a year, hundred deals a year, you know, whatever you want to do. That's how you do it is creating the relationship with all those people. Most realtors, you know, disregard the people that aren't ready to do anything today. That's, yeah. that's a big mistake because you're talking to them anyway. Why not establish a relationship for the future while you're trying to find somebody who does want to do something today? Now you're building your business for, for the future and for now all at the same time. Right. Yeah, that's a, that's a real good point. Um, those conversations, is that mainly just like the email you're, you're sending out or just calling or both? Do, do what now? Those conversations with people that are, you know, down the line and stuff, even if they're, you know, bought leads or something, um, that's that's where your phone calls and your emails come in, right? I don't know what you're asking, but yeah, I'll call a pro I'll call a list of property owners and I'll establish a relationship whether they want to do anything or not, and then they'll get a weekly email from me forever, and then they call me when they want to do something. If I, yeah. if I pay for the leads and I get the leads, I'm going to put them, they're going to get that same weekly email, put them all in there, and then maybe they'll call me, maybe they won't. I don't know, but they're getting the email, so maybe they'll call me. Right. Okay. Well, cool. That, um, yeah, I just kind of wanted to pick your brain a little bit, I guess. So, I guess thanks for letting me do that. <laughs> No doubt, man. That's what I'm here for.